In today's press review, we begin with South Africa's Mail and Guardian. It's a story, a free ride for Floyd. The name of the economic freedom fighter second in command, Floyd Shivambu, is once again entwined in VBS largesse, this time over a Range Rover Sport allegedly purchased with illicit proceeds from the bank. The car, which was registered in Floyd's name until December last year, is one of several luxury vehicles that the Directorate for Priority Crime Investigation, the Hawks, investigators believe was bought at a Santon dealership with money looted from VBS. A Ugandan Daily Monitor carried a story. We can't hand Kayahura to foreigners, Musefeni. Another story says seven children killed, scores injured in Nairobi classroom collapse. Seven children died and more were wounded when their classroom collapsed on Monday morning in the Kenyan capital, Nairobi, medics said. Now in Nigeria, a story in the punch says, $9.6 billion judgment, Malami, IG, Emevele lead federal government team to UK legal battle. The Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, the Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, and the Governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emevele, on Saturday, led a delegation to the United Kingdom for a fresh battle with a British firm. Process and Industry Development Limited this Saturday. We end with Zimbabwe's Herald. We outsmarted cash oligarchs, says President. Government last Friday outsmarted some individuals and entities that were behind the sharp rise in foreign exchange rate, a development that has seen the United States dollar falling against the local unit, President Mangagwa has said.